Yo, what's so up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is another Lost in the Pond reaction and this one is British Winters Ain't Got Nothing on the American Midwest Part 2 and is there a part one? Wait, five states of way colder winters. Um, wait, should I watch the part one first? Now I'm confused. Do I just cut this out of the video or what? You know what? I'm going to watch this now. Wait, let me just... Let me just search this into YouTube. Sorry for this absolute mess of an intro. I, I thought I didn't know this was a part two. Um, three years ago. Do I watch this or what? You know, I'm gonna just watch both of them. Fuck it. Oh, do I watch both of them? Yeah, fuck it. Let's watch both of them. Um, I'm not gonna give the intro. I'm just gonna go into. It. I forgot what I was talking about. Quick shout out to my Instagram. My Twitter links in the description. For those interested. Um. Yeah, I've been doing Q&A's on my Instagram, a lot of you seem to be enjoying them, and yeah, that's about it really. Same for my Patreon, links were there for those interested. Let's get into this one. What an intro, what an intro. I'm killing it, I'm killing the game. So what is this intro? This is a different one to what I've seen before. So there's a lot of things I didn't know about America until I moved here, you know, so for instance that they use the word acclimate instead of climatize. Acclimate? Acclimatize? What does acclimatize even mean? Um, so I had to acclimatize myself to that and many other things to do with language, to do with food, to do with the size of American things. Uh, but there's one thing weather-wise that I just wasn't prepared for and I, I found out to my chagrin, or is it chagrin, chagrin, the day I landed here in November 2008 and that's the extreme weather. Now that wasn't even yet winter. We're not actually in winter yet here either. Really? But we're already in Chicago where I currently live seen the signs of winter with the snow coming just the other day and I have to tell you that while snow may be fun and games for a lot of people it's hell for me. So unless you live on the west coast or in the deep south then the winters are in fact quite harsh, you know, harsher than I experienced growing up in the UK. In fact, in the, in the final few years of me living in the UK, snow is almost a, a rare entity during yeah, winter. Um, and certainly the cold temperatures that we experience here sometimes gets down to you know, minus 15 to minus 20 degrees C. What? Minus 15 to 20 degrees Celsius? Are you nuts? I knew it get cold, got cold, but like, wait, I just realized it's quite loud. Um, minus 15 to 20. In, in the UK, I'll maybe get minus one, minus two. I mean, I don't actually know the coldest it's got. Let's just see. Um, coldest UK, this. Coldest, coldest temperature, there we go, in the UK this year. Last night temperature in Bremer was the coldest lowest recorded temp in lowest recorded in the UK since 1995. Minus 20 oh, so I actually did get that. In fact, it's even two degrees colder than But I don't know where this is. This is probably like right up in like Scotland. In like Norwich. In God, this is such a scuffed intro. In Norwich this year. Okay, this is probably the worst thing I've ever done. Nothing's coming up here, man. <laughs> I don't know how else to search this. Fuck it, man. You know what? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Let's just get into it. Here in the Midwest, which one year was, you know, enough to make my arms fall off and I had to go to have emergency surgery. I'm embellishing the truth for dramatic effect. Oh, but, shit. Um, it's another way of saying that it is really, really quite extraordinarily cold here and um you know i can't i can't fully enjoy it when i'm outside and even if i've got you know, multiple layers on three four five layers i've been known to do at times i even own this pair of thermal gloves which you know make me feel really patriotic but that's uh, no use when i'm turning into jack nicholson from the end of the shining there is something to be said for you know sitting indoors and watching the snow come down you know, it's, it's it's therapeutic in a way. It almost warms your heart, especially it if you've got nice. a nice Inside, your hot chocolate. But outside, and no. you're just seeing those white specks flake down 
like dandruff from the <laughs> skies above, then it's fine. You know, I have memories from being a kid when there was, I think, more snow in England. Unless I'm making that up, unless my you know nostalgia filter is is well and truly getting in the way, I have memories of getting into snowball fights and having a snowball pelted at my face, and it hurt and it put me off snow forever. <sighs> So now I can only enjoy it from the comfort of my own home. And sometimes I have no choice. Um, sometimes the snow can get so deep here that you are almost buried in. You know, I've, I've seen crazy, a foot and a half of snow. I've walked through it. It's a strange sensation in many ways. It's, it's even more difficult, I think, when you own a car and you have to, you know, shovel the driveway and all of that so you can get out. And even shoveling the snow off your car. In a way, it's like Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark when they go searching for the Ark of the Covenant. Sometimes you have to dig that deep. Again, I'm embellishing the truth of drama, but mm. it is it is pretty deep. I suppose, you know, one of the benefits of living in the Midwest, as I do, is you increase your chances of having a white Christmas, if that's your thing. And I know for a lot of people, it is. For me, I'd rather just stay indoors anyway, and I typically do. And, you know, even though I might moan when I'm out and about, just ask the wife, um, you know, there is something a little bit magical about being at like Chris Kimball Market, right, which is downtown Chicago, but anything like that where you know, the, the, the offer of mulled wine is there to warm your spirits, there's something quite nice about that. You know, it makes me really jolly and when I have a beard, as I do, I turn into something resembling Santa Claus, uh, <laughs> though I don't, you know, give presents to children, just myself. <laughs> and. Um, it's just a nice, it is a nice time, I won't lie. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, but because there's Thanksgiving, because there's Christmas, there is something quite memorable about that. I mean, by February, you just want it to go away fully, you know, forever. Um, but half of the time. Is there any parts of the US bar um, Alaska that has snow occasionally, like even around sort of summertime? Or is that just not, is that never like a thing that happens? Because I wonder, so I know summers in pretty much all cities in the US are crazy hot, but like, is there even like points where there is just a bit of snow that comes randomly? Time, it's all right. So, you know, don't let this video put you off. If you are thinking of moving to the US, don't listen to me. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a grumpy old man, right? I'm not old, I'm 35, I'm 36 soon. But you can get through it, you know, with a little bit of help from your friends and your family and the doctors who sew your arms back on, you'll be fine. <laughs> this is such a weird one. Right, let's get into this one. Let's get into this one. I assume this is going to be a lot more in-depth. A few years ago, I made a video called British Winters Ain't Got Nothing on America. <laughs> I mean, look and... at this street view already, man. Look how beautiful it looks, man. This is when the snow is, like, nice, when it's, like, this kind of level. Then it just gets to the extremes that got it does. Got nothing on America. And it was true then, and it's true now. But one of the criticisms that I received at the time was, ooh, Lawrence, you're, you're doing this from your apartment. We want to see you out in the bloody snow, right? And it's, it's enough to make my voice crack just thinking about it. <laughs> and now, at the start of 2021, knowing that I've been trapped inside the house for four years, I thought I'd get out. And I'm not sure if you've been watching the weather reports or not, but now would be the perfect time to do that because not only did London just experience plentiful snow resulting in riotous celebration, but Chicago is currently getting dumped on as we speak. <laughs> and since people in my homeland have recently had that experience of being able to build snowmen and throw snowballs at their spouses and their kids, I wanted to show you why what you enjoyed so fervently a few days ago gets old very, very quickly when you marry a woman from the Midwest and then move there. And don't get me wrong, I mean, when I was a kid, I, I loved it when the snow would turn up because it was quite a rare event. Yeah. I've spoken extensively on this channel, you know, about how we just don't have white Christmases in Britain. And here, you know, you might have them every other year or something like that, depending on where you live. And I, I think it's fair to say that after a while, the excitement is not quite as palpable and you become somewhat numb to the annual onslaught Jesus, of snow. Jesus, look at this car! I just realized this was a car. I was like, wait, what's this? And I just realized it was a car buried under like a foot of snow. Unless you're my wife from the Midwest. In other words, I mean, it was her idea to leave the house and make this video for you. And okay. since I'm being coerced into making this video, I thought, well, how do you make a video like this? Do I just lay down on the ground and make snow angels? No, because for contractual reasons, I can't get wet in my videos again. And then I drew inspiration from all of those YouTubers that are based in Norway. You've probably seen them, right? They're usually blonde and they go out into the snow, often with a dog. 
and they look like they're having the time of their lives and their videos are always really lovely and serene and they make you believe that they are elves living in a cottage <laughs> with Wait, a fireplace and so that's the style i choose to go with in this video now admittedly i don't have a norwegian accent nor the desire to walk on a frozen lake in my underpants but what i do have <laughs> is a car and since there are kind of covid restrictions happening we could barely leave the state otherwise we would have gone up all the way to minnesota because you know minnesotans often tell me oh you people in chicago don't know what a real winter is right and i'd ask you i'd ask you minnesotans how can you stand it how can you stand this incessant snow during winter and then they turn around to me and say well half of us are all descended from norwegians so you get the picture <sighs> there is something quite comforting and at the same time genuinely awful about driving in the snow in the midwest the good thing is is you have a nicely heated car and all of the bad stuff the snow the ice the cold that's happening to other people on the outside and you can just watch and laugh or just watch and you know i don't want to be cynical i know there are a lot of people out there like my wife who likes snow and that's fine i'm not judging you but i do have to get your thoughts on dirty snow you know when it's piled up at the side of the road and it's just a really big high mound but it's you know partially covered in mud and you've got to admit it's a terrible mess really horrible to look at although it is competing with strip malls in britain you don't really get a chance to see mounds of snow grow quite this high or no, this muddy no. partially because we don't usually get this much snow but also we don't clean off the roads for about a week. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's probably an exaggeration. But from memory, we weren't too good about it. Here in Chicago, they're on it like that. And for those of you who couldn't see me, which is all of you, that was me clicking my finger. But when I'm on the road at this time of year in the Midwest, all I do is think. I look out of the window and I contemplate some of the most important questions in the universe. Are we alone? Will we ever be visited? And why don't I have thermal gloves? <laughs> America is a big land and therefore the Midwest is just a fraction of that land, although sizable enough to be its own country. And yet the vast majority of my experience of living in the United States has been housed in the Midwest. And, you know, as somebody who's lived in multiple places, I often turn to people here and say, could you ever imagine yourself living anywhere other than the Midwest? And you know the kind of response, you know, hell would have to freeze over for me to do that. And that's just the residents of hell, Michigan. It does look nice, doesn't it? There is a satisfying thing about like when you step on fresh snow with like some shoes and you just hear the noise of you sort of crushing it. It is kind of a satisfying noise, especially for me again, something that I'm not actually used to. This is some kind of ASMR type video, you know? Lawrence, you naughty, naughty. You make an ASMR videos with snow covered now. <laughs> what am I on, man? Bears repeating, of course, that the closer the Great Lakes you get, the colder it gets, and substantially so when compared to Britain. So you have to make sure that you come prepared, and that's why I'll be having a stern conversation with my costume department after the release of this video. And of course, I've talked endlessly about coats that have these sort of thick hoods that make you look like Han Solo on Hoth, which is sort of perfect for me because I'm often told that I do resemble a young Harrison Ford. In my I think I dreamt that, that was a dream. But one thing that I haven't mentioned very much and I feel obliged to do so right now is the hiking boots that I'm currently wearing. These things are amazing. You know that horrible feeling when you're walking through snow and you're five minutes in, your socks are drenched, your feet are absolutely freezing for the rest of the day. These hiking boots prevent that. I had no water seepage whatsoever. If the Titanic had been made of this material, it would never have been lost in the pond. And as Americans would say, these boots are a game changer. Because I do think that winter's long-time vendetta against my feet 
contributes about 39% toward my hatred of winter. So I've got to be honest, with that factor removed, I quite enjoy today's walk. And furthermore, today I was saying to my wife, old-fashioned AF, there's something quite beautiful about walking on trails covered in snow. Because firstly, there's no one around to ask for my autograph. You know, I mean, they don't ask for it at the best of times, but it's the principle that counts. And yet, even though at this time of year the Midwest resembles more Siberia than the United States, in parks like this, there is evidence of life all around you. You know, you might see the odd squirrel or a cardinal pop out to say hello. Or you just look down at the trail itself, right? I mean, f human footprints and dog piss. So, you know, to take that previous question and turn it around at myself, Lawrence, would you ever leave the Midwest? The answer, of course, is yes. But I think since getting the hiking boots, it's a bit less of a yes than it was yes today. So, I thought she was going to go throw the snowball at his face for a second. As an honorary Midwesterner, there you have it. I will be staying around for a bit. And it's been a long year, let's be honest. But one thing that I've learned in that time is that face masks scientifically do prevent your nose hairs from freezing. And that's very important. Mm. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on this winter tour of the Scandinavian province of Illinois. You'll see me in my next video. So the fact that that's Illinois and there's parts of the US that get even crazy when it when it's winter is just nuts to me, man. It is kind of crazy to me, but time to read some in the comments. Welcome to Michigan, where the seasons don't matter and the snow is filling in potholes. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad out if if it wasn't the wind for the wind every Michigan ever. I am of Norwegian descent and living in Wisconsin, where we refer where we refer to anything less than six inches as mere dusting. Midwestern here just spent an hour shoveling the driveway in leggings and a thin jacket can confirm that most of us are descended from the people of, from the Nordic countries and northern Germany. This guy is funny. I'm going to let you into an odd fact. Yanks love listening to English people talk. It's true. Perfect. I'm a Brit living in Maine. I concur with everything you say. Brits have no idea what cold feels like. I mean, God, I get cold when it's like zero. So, I mean, I can't imagine minus 50, minus 20 Canadians laughing hysterically. Canadians to fucking, what, Min people from Minnesota, you don't have snow, bro, we've got proper snow, I guess it's just, and then fucking people from, I don't know, Antarctica go say it to, like, the Canadians, you don't know snow, we've got real snow, like, it just goes on, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just perspective. But yeah, I enjoy this video, snow, it makes a beautiful landscape more beautiful until you shovel it, and it's all gone. But yeah, I, I enjoy these videos, man. I do find it quite fun just seeing the differences and seeing how different in the weather. I know that the US has like, what is it? The different, like it has extremes. The weathers are extremes, whether it's hot or whether it's cold, whether it's snowing, whether it's like rainy, whether it's thunder, just extremes in every area. The UK is just meh, meh, meh. It's summer now, I'm considering it hot. It's not actually that hot today, it's like 16 degrees. Tomorrow's at 21 degrees. That's probably the hottest day it's been this year in the UK. And it's 21 degrees tomorrow. And I'm going to the beach. For me, that's beach weather. For people in certain parts of the US, that's like, I don't know, just not even an average day. You're probably wishing it was that in some like places. Like if you're from like Nevada, you, you deal with like the hottest temperatures. You're probably jealous of that. But then if you're from somewhere, I mean, I think everywhere in the US is always hotter than the UK, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, it's still interesting to see these kind of things. Hopefully you enjoy this one. And yeah, until next time. Until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.